It's your boy, Rona Williams, back again with another one. And I have been tied up for the past couple of days. It's the greatest and the latest, the boldest and the coldest, a.k.a. Platinum with no features, a.k.a. King Kong ain't got shit on me, a.k.a. still fucking y'all niggas' girlfriends, all right? Fuck with your boy. <sighs> so, my week goes as such. I haven't been on YouTube in a while. Well, like a week, but let's see. Been having family over the house, so I ain't been able to record. There's been a bunch of shit going on over here, so I ain't been able to record. And I've been sick, so I'm just not getting over that cold. And here I am. It's Sunday, and I'm back on y'all motherfucking ass, all right? So, the topic on my mind for the day, goddammit. Miss, ride, or die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and let me go ahead and turn my airplane mode on, because motherfuckers going to be messaging me mid-video, and I ain't got time for that. But miss ride or die. The ride or die thing always trips me out, man. Because there's always like a person that's like going above and beyond for the title. Like I, I, I get the ride or die thing and I do understand it to a certain extent. But at the same time, it's like with this ride or die shit, y'all got to be like, y'all like, yeah. ladies got to really be smart about this ride or die shit. All right. It's a lot of y'all riding for niggas that don't know how to drive. It's a lot of y'all riding for niggas that are on a collision course. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of y'all riding with niggas that don't have no license. You know what I'm saying? You can't ride or die for every raw dick you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Ride or die, to me, is like a chick that's like, you know, she's supposed to be there to support her man. You know what I'm saying? She's there to be his rib, backbone, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? A ride or die type of woman is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. But, like I said, a lot of y'all girls need to put this ride or die shit on the right type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? If this nigga don't want to pay the rent or take care of you or do the, do the shit that a man's supposed to do to handle his house, don't be the ride or die. You know what I'm saying? Just be the occasional passenger. passenger you know what I'm saying? Kick it with him. Vibe with him here and there. If, that's, if you like him that much. But don't... What I'm basically saying in a nutshell is don't put your goddamn future on niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what this man is really going for real. Second... With this ride or die shit. You need to really examine the type of niggas you fucking with. You know what I'm saying? When y'all want to be ride or die chicks. You know what I'm saying? Again, you can't be riding and dying for anybody. Because a lot of y'all are not cats. And y'all don't have fucking nine lives, alright? But, like, you really need to examine what type of niggas y'all fucking with. Like, if this man is going to college. You know what I'm saying? And he's trying to get a degree and something. Like, he's trying to get a doctor degree or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of nigga you ride or die for because he has a future. You know what I'm saying? The problem with a lot of y'all girls sometimes is y'all try to stick and ride through bullshit with dumbass niggas. Y'all like to be ride or die for jailbird niggas. Y'all like to be ride or die for trap niggas. You know what I'm saying? I have nothing against trap niggas, but them are not long-term family-oriented niggas. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them cats get caught with a couple charges. They get bound up. Next thing you know, you a single mother. That shit is not cool. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what else was the ride or die thing. Oh yeah, one more thing, man. With the ride or die thing, man, you really need to um put this type of energy toward a nigga that want to be married and shit. Like you can't be. A lot of y'all understand that there's a difference between taking risk, you know what I'm saying, and being stupid. Like take a calculated risk, you know what I'm saying. If you, like I said, if this guy has a future. You know what I'm saying? Put that ride or die shit on niggas that are going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a ride or die chick for a nigga that's just like all over the place. You don't know what the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a ride or die chick for a nigga that can't lead you nowhere. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas are leading you into the motherfucking ground. And y'all just being stupid, you know, behind the raw dick and cheap looking and shit and just diving off the cliff with these motherfuckers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, stick with a motherfucker... That has a plan that says, baby, I want to build this. You know what I'm saying? He got a business idea. You know what I'm saying? Stick with niggas like that. Don't try to. It depresses me when I see girls, they they really be into these trap niggas. And I get it because they're fun and they're, in, you know, they, they don't mind spending no money. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, once the baby gets involved, you know what I'm saying? It's all fun and games till you get a kid or one of y'all get locked up and catch a charge. Like I said, I don't have nothing against niggas that sell and trap. That's y'all thing. That's y'all that's y'all strong point. You know what I'm saying? But the last thing you want to do is really try to ride or die for a nigga that got a couple of felony charges on his record. I 
And women, I get it. Y'all love these cats. You know what I'm saying? But let's be real. You know what I'm saying? I can tell a motherfucker ain't going nowhere just by how they life is structured. You know what I'm saying? The type of shit they into, the type of stuff they doing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all motherfuckers is really trying to ride and die with niggas with five or six year sentences. You know what I'm saying? From drugs and shit. So, again, I don't advise it. You know what I'm saying? But with the ride or die chick, man, you got to just... With women in general, you got to be careful who you put your emotions on, man. Because once your emotions get attached to somebody, you're pretty much alone for the ride, man. But that's it for this one, man. I just want to get that off my chest, man. Like, share, and motherfucking subscribe.